All right, I've done the um, oil change on the Golf. Part of the procedure as well when you're doing it is that you've got to use Vagcom to reset the service indicator light. As when you power cycle the ignition, you'll get a warning message that the service is due. So you'll get a message in service now. Uh, you can buy aftermarket handheld things, what does this, but you can also do it with Vagcom. Basically what you're doing is you launch up Vagcom and you go into the option called SRI Reset. It'll scan through all the different controllers on the car. Then you get an option at the end. This is where you can do the services if you go from uh, flexible services, which is where the car determines the mileage you do and when you need to service it. Or you can do fixed service and where if you want to service it every 10,000 miles and such. I found that with my, this car, it uh, prompted me to service it when I was going to do it anyway. But what you have at the top is it gives you all the values what's currently at. And then it gives you an option in general service reset, readopt service interval 10,000 miles after second service, 15,000 kilometers after second service, change to fixed intervals, change to fixed intervals, miles or kilometers. Uh, I'm going to just do a general service reset on it. And then you, what you do is you click on perform SRI. I'm going to find my cursor. Just okay, perform SRI, that'll reset all the indicators. So it'll reset all the values on the car. New values have been saved successfully. SRI complete. Click OK. Click Done. Go back. Click Exit. Now, if we power sight of the ignition, we should no longer have the uh, take the keys out. Put it back in. We'll no longer get the warn message about the service due. And there we go. Straight to the mileage. So that's how you do a quick. Uh, service reset using Vagcom as your controller so the OBD port for diagnostics is down by the um, it's down by the the bonnet bonnet pull so you've got the bonnet pull down here and where it is it's about there it's a little you have to look under it but you can reach into it from sitting in the car so that's how you do it I'll be also uploading the file to my website with instructions on how you do it as well to do the oil change itself